Hello, hello. I think I'm all live. Hey everyone, how are you all tonight? Just thought I will give it a few minutes and let people jump on who are going to join us this evening. I'm going to have a sip of my peppermint tea because it has been one of those long days getting ready to go away tomorrow for about 10 days up to the North Island in New Zealand. So it's definitely time for a bit of a peppermint tea and just to spend some time hanging out with you all, which I'm really excited about tonight. So let me have another sip. And we'll give it a few more minutes, moments, I mean, and let a few more people who might be joining us this evening come on in. I thought I would try an evening session and just see how that kind of plays out for people's times. Um, and if it works good, then we might keep rolling with the evening sessions because I feel like it's really hard to fit in everybody's different time zones around the world. But that's what the power of the internet is amazing. So you can watch it on the replay if you want to. Um, so I think think so that we're not sitting here all night I will get going and other people can jump on as they go when you jump on say hi um, and if you do watch this on the replay make sure to um, put hashtag replay if you write any comments or have got any questions and I can find them really easily when I go back later on to see what you've said so um, for those of you who don't already know me. My name is Rose Tauchery. Um, I am a health coach. I am an educator. I'm a mum. I'm a dog mum who are way more needy than my actual son. So I feel like most of my time is spent wrangling dogs during the day in between trying to get work done and do videos and things for you guys. Um, so what I am here to chat with you all about tonight is essentially a bit more of a specific topic than I have been doing a bit more broader stuff lately. So tonight's a bit more specific and what we're going to talk about is something near and dear to my holistic health coach heart and that is essential oils. And what I want to kind of run through a bit tonight is to talk about kind of what they are, how you can use them in your day-to-day -day life, um, why I recommend doTERRA as a brand uh, to buy if you are getting essential oils um, and some other little tips just essentially about how they can be used in terms of your holistic health, your wellness, uh, your, you know, tox-free lifestyle and, you know, even when it comes down to being a little bit of your spiritual um, toolkit at home to use, you know, say if you're doing meditation or anything like that. Um, and also why it is that I'm sitting here talking to you about essential oils and why I don't just recommend walking into a store and buying them off the shelf with no kind of follow-up or education about them. So that's a big part of why I'm here and talking to you guys. So let's dive in, shall we? So what I want to talk about a little bit first, because I like telling you guys stories, um, is basically my story when it comes to essential oils. Uh, starts really young. Um, when I was a child, we lived overseas in all sorts of strange and wonderful places like the Middle East, Africa, um, Southeast Asia, Pacific. And so I was really, that's all good. No worries. You can catch me on the replay. <laughs> Don't feel like you have to hang around for the whole time as well, lovelies, because I know that everybody's busy and everybody's got um, little kiddos and things that they've got to do and deal with and feed and get to bed. So that's the beauty of why you can watch this at any time that you like. Um, so where was I? Yeah, so my story with essential oils is basically from a really young age, there was something that we were always using in our home and our lifestyle. Um, we basically used to use them every single day. Um, 
your traditional kind of Eastern medicines were very um, predominant in our home and they were very um, much a big part of our life just purely from the places we lived and the people that we were around and our lifestyle and you know so we it was kind of super woo woo in the sense that we would have um, you know like rain sticks in every room and we had these CDs playing like sounds of the rainforest in the background um, we'd always have an essential oil the old sort of burners with the tea light candle going in just about every room I can remember um, and you know always having like lavender oil on my pillow at night um, and you know I was very cracked open at a young age to the really powerful way that these things can be um, important in our life and you know how they can really form a important part of your kind of holistic health and wellness practice every day um, and then as I've got older they've also been a really big part of my um, own health approach and holistic health approach with supporting my thyroid health um, adrenal fatigue um, using them to avoid essential oils to avoid what um, are known as endocrine disruptors, which really um, essentially come in mostly things like your perfumes or fragrance products, um, synthetic chemical sprays or additives to a lot of your household home products. Um, and so essentially that brings me full circle in my life to why I have then become um, a partner with doTERRA as part of my own health coaching business because it's been, you know, with me since day one. And I'll talk a little bit more about that part, but um, just wanted to give you a little bit of a story to start with about why I'm here sitting talking to you about essential oils. So this is a lovely little bottle of peppermint oil. And the only sucky thing about doing a live video is I can't hold this up and you guys can smell this as well as being able to watch me sit here and get to enjoy all the goods that come out of these bottles. So when, you know, cracking open the bottle like this, um, really basically everyone that I know of and have heard of who opens one of these bottles just is immediately in love with the absolutely beautiful, pure quality of the oils that are in here. There's no additives. They are um, completely 100% pure with what it says on the bottle, which is something I'm really passionate about supporting. Um, you know, they're just an incredible quality product. Um, so what I'm going to try and do tonight is describe them as best I can for you. Get a bit of an experience and just seeing me open them and sniff them. Um, and so with peppermint, for example, it's got lots of up, up notes in the scent of it. So when you take a big, nice, deep breath in of that, you get a beautiful um, alivening, awakening. It's just incredible what that does to you on so many cellular levels. It's really beautiful. Um, so what I want to dive into a little bit is about what essential oils actually are for those of you who aren't familiar. So they are essentially the most pure form of distillation from the plant that they come from. So for example, your lemon oil here, um, you know, they are around 50 to 70 times um, more um, potent in strength than the actual plant it comes from itself. Um, you know, for example, these bottles here that I'm holding are 15 mils in size. And so this, um, going back to our peppermint, is has about 250 drops or more inside a 15 mil bottle. And that it, one drop of that in a sort of herbal sense equates to about 28 cups of peppermint tea in terms of its just beautiful um packed full of goodness from the original peppermint plant that it was produced from. So it's just absolutely bloody incredible. Um, they're really powerful natural products and I think, you know, they're just so, have so many wonderful benefits for us as human beings. It's incredible. So, you know, Mother Nature, she is amazing in terms of what she creates. Um, the compounds that these are distilled from come from either the flower, uh, the leaf, the root, the bark typically of the plant. Um, sometimes it can, can come from the sap of the um, plant. So, for example, something like frankincense is actually the sap. 
Um, and you know that really what they come from is the mechanism that Mother Nature has given her beautiful plants to protect themselves against um, disease, to ward off against um, fungus or uh, predators eating them. Uh, you know, they um, ward off against illness. So they're packed full of those natural compounds anyway for their own benefit. Um, and that's what they use as defense mechanisms, which, by the way, if any of you ha um, have ever seen, David Attenborough does this incredible series based in Kew Gardens in the UK, and it is all about the life of plants. And honestly, it is the most amazing program i watched it and totally geeked out on plant knowledge so um if any of you have ever seen that and i highly recommend it as a really interesting um show to watch so anyway back to essential oils right um what i'm talking about is not newfangled theory um it's been around for thousands and thousands of years uh, it's just really exciting for me to see such a resurgence in our communities of people who are willing to look at these sorts of um, ways that we can support our holistic health and well-being, you know, from that broader point of view of ways that we can support ourselves. Uh, you know, they're a great alternative to some Western conventional medicines, but one of the really important things to understand is that they aren't designed to replace conventional medicine. They are simply building a holistic experience where the two can hold hands and they can really work together to give yourself such a, um, you know, a, a broader healthcare perspective and something that you can really support in your own day-to-day um, -day life. And, you know, when we look at it like this, it really becomes clear how essential oils are a really, you know, they're an affordable part of building a holistic approach to our health and our well-being. Um, you know, they can be our first aid kit at home. They can be our well-being toolkit. They can be our spiritual toolkit even. Um, you know, I think it's really awesome all these different ways that you can bring something like this into your life and use them really simply and they do beautiful things for us. Um, and you know there's really there's three ways that you can use essential oils in your day-to-day -day life that can be really powerful. So the first being aromatically, the second being topically and the third being using them as a food flavoring um, process. So you know, the, the primary way I personally use them is aromatically by inhaling them. Um, I will use an amazing thing I've got here. Here's one I prepared earlier. Um, this little guy is called a diffuser. And what I, I just have this running all day long while I'm working, um, right from first thing in the morning um, till nighttime going to bed. I just keep topping it up. Um, it's got a little cavity that opens and on the inside here I'll try and show you guys that little circle in the middle is the key part to how this all works so this type is called a nebulizing diffuser which sounds very scientific and technical and essentially what it means is that it um, that circle that you can see in the center uh, that it vibrates you fill it with water and your essential oils and it vibrates at a really high frequency and produces this beautiful vapor out the top with the water molecules and the essential oil molecules into the air and it allows you to really efficiently and quickly inhale them. Um, the ones I've got are doTERRA ones. They are true like workhorses. They just go forever and ever. That one I just showed you can go for up to 10 hours, which is just incredible for someone like me that I can put it on and just kind of set it and forget it and just put my blend of oils in there that I want for the day. Um, and so essentially what the, um, once the vapor starts getting up and into the air, um, you breathe it in, you inhale it, um, and all those essential oil molecules, um, as you start to go in through your nose and your mouth, it um, starts to interact with our olfactory system um, and our nerves, which is essentially your primary nerve related to your sense of smell. And it then carries on and reaches your limbic system and that is involved with things like our motivation, our emotions, our learning ability, uh, and 
particularly our memory function as well. And it's, it's essentially known and called our emotional brain. And it does all wonderful things for our body. It uh, helps to control our blood pressure. It helps to um, with our heart rate, our mood. Um, and, of course, our emotional state is all connected to that. So basically with having that ability to inhale it and have it working with your emotional brain, um, think of all those situations in your day where, for example, you might be inhaling, um, you know, something that is non-natural or synthetic. You know, um, think of that situation where you might be um, sitting on a bus and you might be next to someone wearing really, really heavy perfume and or you might be in the supermarket checkout line and somebody's got really, really heavy perfume on. Um, you've got synthetic air fresheners in your toilets at work, for example. Uh, you might have um, be in a situation a lot where there are a lot of car fumes, um, maybe with your commute to work or walk to work. And, you know, you might even be thinking right now about things that are in your own home that kind of come under some of those categories. Um, so, you know, as you're inhaling those molecules, you know, we just talked about the stuff that can be really good for our emotional brain. Think about how those things might be affecting what's going on in our emotional brain or our limbic system. Um, you know, if, an, uh, if a natural plant-based organic compound like an essential oil can affect our emotions and mood on a positive level, those sorts of things, you know, what on earth are they doing to our bodies and our well-being from the inside that we're perhaps not even fully, you know, thinking about all the time just because they're always in our day-to-day -day lives that we can't control. They're environmental factors, but there are things that you can control. So in particularly in your own home. So you know, when I work with women, we talk a lot about the things that they can look at in their day-to-day -day life being, say, environmental toxins or, um, you know, other everyday toxins in their life that might be adversely affecting them that they don't realise or um, that they haven't considered before that's tied into emotions and moods. So I would really encourage you, you know, to think about how things in your own life, um, you know, these sort of environmental toxins could be affecting you and your family in ways that you perhaps haven't considered before without sitting down to think about it. You know, and I'm all for uh, toxin-free environments in my own life these days. Um, it's something I've been really working hard on and I'm quite actively working on all the time in my own home. Um, you know, or definitely, even if it's not Free, trying to go as low tox as possible. I think that's really, really important um, for me personally. So that kind of covers off how we inhale essential oils and what they can do when we use them aromatically. Uh, the next way that we can use them is topically. Um, and, you know, we've got some essential oils that are really gentle um, and we can use them, you know, directly onto our skin and they are gentle enough that we can use it in that way. Um, you know, there are other ones, that, as we've talked about, you know, there are such a potent distillation from plants that there are some, you know, that we can't use um, directly onto skin. We like to um, always make sure that they've been diluted in some way, shape or form so that they're safe for us. Um, so some that are really safe to use on skin, for example, let me just find over here, um, lovely lavender. Um, beautiful tea tree or um, malaluka is what it is often known as in other countries. Um, and what else have we got here that we can use directly usually? Uh, beautiful frankincense. So these three are lovely examples of ones that we can use direct onto our skin um, and they've all got beautiful, beautiful properties that we can um, make use of in our daily lives. Um, you know, but you would be, you know, if you're using them with children, always to err on the side of caution and to make sure that they are um, diluted in some way, shape or form. You can use a carrier oil. So, for example, I use uh, coconut oil as my kind of carrier oil first. Um, and, you know, often it's just best to err on the side of caution when you're using something new for the first time is always to make sure that you have, you know, tested them out and do what is right for you and your own body. You know, um, 
Darren, my partner, he is super sensitive to a lot of smells that I can't even smell. And so I always, he's a really good tester for me to see how potent or strong something is because he can just smell on levels that I can't even detect. So it's always fascinating to me how, you know, everybody reacts differently to things. Um, a really good place to start if you are looking to, say, dilute um, down essential oils, particularly for if you are wanting to use them on little ones, um, is to use what's called a rollerball. And essentially, I haven't got one here to hand, but, you know, it's essentially a, a little bottle and on the top, instead of the dropper, like this has got a dropper in the top, um, it's got a little roller. And so you can basically just put your um, you can put your couple of drops of oil in. You can fill it up with your carrier oil. So there's some really um, great different types we can use, such as um, you know a beautiful rosehip oil or um, a jojoba oil, um, argan oil, for example. Um, and you can use one of something like that in the bottle and then you can just roll it straight onto the skin. Um, I use fractionated coconut oil and it's one that actually doTERRA stocks so it makes it really easy for me to just buy it at the same time that I buy my oils and I don't have to think about it separately. And then basically what that, that fractionated part just means that co it's coconut oil that is in liquid state all the time which is really handy. Um, and for me I use coconut oil anyway on everything. There's like these memes that go around the internet about you know um, all the different things that you can use coconut oil for and I pretty much hit every single one I eat it I drink it I use it on my skin I use it in my face scrubs it's just a really beautiful thing to use for me and I love using it so um, it works really well for me anyway with using essential oils as well so um, always to make sure when you are putting on your beautiful essential oils is to look for avoiding places like your eyes um, for obvious reasons, um, your ears, um, sometimes, you know, say your armpits can be really sensitive. So just to make sure you avoid those sort of areas and obviously down below in your private parts can be very, very bad news if you can accidentally end up with some down there. Lots of funny stories, particularly about, say, people's husbands who didn't listen to the instructions on the oils, and yeah, it burns. So just to make sure to avoid those sorts of mishaps going on. Um, and one of the things to really understand with these oils is, say, when you do put some on your skin, for example, is one of the incredible things is that within 22 minutes, that oil compound has reached, you know, every single cell within your body. And I just find that, you know, bloody amazing. It includes your bloodstream. It includes your brain. They're just incredible what they do inside our body once you do put them on or breathe them in or absorb them. It's incredible. And, you know, um, I just find it fascinating how something like you can, um, you know, put, uh, say essential oils on by rubbing them on your skin before you go to bed um, is a really beautiful way to use them um, for your kids as well. Um, an excellent place is say the soles of your feet. You can rub it on. Um, you've got thousands and thousands of um, blood vessels that makes it really um, good to uptake and absorb from there. Um, and you can Another really good place for little kitties particularly is say if you have made up a little roller ball or if you've got one um, of your already diluted down essential oils is you can rub it up and down their spine. Um, and I know for me with my son, even though he's 13, I quite often will use that trick on him because if I put it anywhere near say his temples, um, he often like itches and scratches and he's just very active and so it I just it's too much risk that he's going to scratch the side of his face and then rub his eyes or something like that so using up and down his spine works really well for us is just a little tip that we use um and so the that's your first two ways that you can use them and then the third way is to use your essential oils as a food flavoring um process so you know um basically the the most sort of simple ways you can use them is say if you're making up a beautiful like bliss ball mix you can add something like um your peppermint oil to that as a flavoring and it's just beautiful the way it interacts and with your um bliss ball ingredients that you might be putting together 
um, you know, putting a drops of your essential oils into your cups of tea um, is a really beautiful way, uh, you know, adding to your pasta sauces, things like that. Um, the list goes on, you know, they're just incredible what they can be used for and there's some beautiful, really, um, you know, inspirational ways. There's so many people out there doing amazing things with using their essential oils um, in their food and, you know, they're such a high grade. Uh, you know, I add every morning I do warm water with apple cider vinegar and I add just, you know, a drop of this and it is incredible using the lemon in that as well. Um, and, you know, remember they're like 50 to 70 times, you know, the original lemon concentration. So it's really fantastic what that does and I think it's incredible. And when we fly tomorrow, this is definitely going to be with me so that I can still keep doing my warm water and lemon in the mornings and it saves me having to go and buy lemons while I'm out on the road as well which I think is really awesome for being a busy woman <laughs> always making life easier for myself um, and you know one of the other things I just as a side for that with the morning um, thing is say for example one of these blends that's called digest zen um you know i'll add that often into my warm water in the morning as well and this one is coming with me too when we go away tomorrow um because you know it's just really beautiful that i can add that in and that really helps with a lot of my digestive issues that i have personally when it comes to my thyroid health and all those things going on so works really well for me to have that on hand that i can just drink it um, with my warm water every morning and it's beautiful and works amazing things so I really really am so grateful that I've got those in my life now um, so just as an aside with the fact that I have mentioned obviously the name doTERRA a lot in the video you know um, just to really explain for you the fact that um, you know when I first started using my essential oils from a really young age you know I've been a bit of a essential oils junkie for a lot of years you know I really just bought them haphazardly as and when I found them you know I would spot some at a market or I would spot some you know on a shelf at the health food store if I was going in to buy my protein powder or something like that and I would just randomly grab a few um, you know and I'm and I only ever really got them unintentionally. I never had any sort of plan or intention around buying them. Um, and, you know, I certainly had zero idea of where the oils were made, how they were made, the quality of them, anything like that. I would just grab and go. Um, and, you know, one of the things I'm really passionate about is supporting um, businesses and organisations that are looking at all of those things. And you guys see in my story, the sort of, um, you know, brands and businesses that I do choose to support. You know, I'm a bit of a minimalist at heart. So when I do spend money, I want to know that I am spending it with a company that has got a bigger, um, you know, mission and a, a heart to everything they're doing, essentially, and that they're doing things sustainably is a really big, um, you know, passion of mine. So, you know, it didn't really sit right for me that I was buying a product and I wasn't thinking about all those things. So that is where, you know, um, having something like doTERRA to talk to you guys about when I'm giving you, you know, a bit of information about oils is really wonderful because that sits really well in my soul. Um, you know, and I can essentially, you know, talk a little bit about the fact that with the model that they use for um, sourcing all these beautiful oils is it's called um, a co-impact sourcing model. So basically what that means is that rather than trying to say grow all of these beautiful plants and herbs and you know um, in the same country in artificial conditions and you know having to use irrigation and um, fertilization and artificial lighting and all of those things that can potentially be really damaging to the environment in a different country they go and source it from the place that essentially that plant grows indigenously and you know and that then because a lot of these countries where these plants come from um, you know are developing nations and so it means that you are the that doTERRA is able to support communities and people and farmers and growers and businesses at the source where these beautiful beautiful oils come from and I think that's really incredible and that they do that all over the world um, 
you know, for example, um, frankincense here that I'm holding, you know, it comes from places like Oman or Somalia, which, you know, we know that these countries desperately need businesses to be running there and to be businesses that are run with heart and support for the communities that are there. Um, you know, for example, uh, lavender comes from, I believe it's Bulgaria or France. Um, wintergreen that goes into um, this beautiful uh, ice blue athletic blend comes from Nepal um, and so you know for example um, the organization that they got for um, you know that's a non-profit that's called healing hands in addition to the sourcing model they use for their oils is um, you know say for example the wintergreen comes from Nepal that goes into this oil and healing hands will go in and say after the devastating earthquake that hit Nepal they went in and they built schools they provided um, desks and chairs and resources for all the schools they went and built homes for the farmers um, and the communities that are um, growing the wintergreen you know it's just a beautiful um, collective process that goes into you know receiving a bottle of essential oil on my doorstep in New Zealand you know and I think that is the most incredible thing and it's something that I'm really passionate about making sure that brands I support have got that whole holistic picture as well because I believe that's a big part of our holistic health too you know it's not just about eating the supplements doing the going to the gym going for a walk you know it's the whole big picture how everything touches everything in our lives um so back to jump back to the oils for you know with you um basically the the products that are in these bottles undergo the most rigorous testing out of any essential oils in the world uh, it makes their quality control is just over and above anything else. It makes sure that there's no pesticides, no herbicides, um, no toxins, and they've got a beautiful way of um, assessing these oils that means that if anything does come up, they will just pull the whole lot from sale all around the world. So, you know, it does happen from time to time, and it just means that that oil is unavailable until they're able to ensure the product that goes in here is 100% pure. And and no additive, um, no pesticides, herbicides, toxins have got into that particular batch. So, what we are going to talk about now is I'm just going to have a sip of my drink because I've been rattling at you for a while now. So, the actual oils themselves, in terms of properties, I'm just going to grab my peppermint oil again here. So with your peppermint, it's beautiful, cooling, menthol notes. Like I said at the start of the video, it's got all these real up, up, upper notes. So it is absolutely fantastic for just lifting you, um, energizing. It's got um, emotional perspective. It's really joyous and buoyant. Um, you can really feel it when you inhale this oil, all those properties. Uh, it's a respiratory oil, you know, in the physical and emotional response sense. You know, um, some people at first might think it's all a bit woo-woo, but, you know, when you think that we put ourselves into a different – if we put ourselves into a different physical state, say by going for a run, and we can feel that benefit and that change in ourselves, you know, essential oils can – basically do the same thing for us they can put us in a different emotional state um, you know it's got a very um, high menthol content which means that it can be really supportive for um, you know people who have got issues with their gut or digestive health just think of the fact that you know quite often um, if you have got issues with your digestion people recommend that you drink peppermint tea for example well peppermint oil has got all those same you know goods for you and more you know it is way more concentrated and you'll get you know much more bang for your buck with a drop of peppermint oil being something you know almost 30 cups of peppermint tea worth in here so um you know uh, it's also great for um say um using as a cooling you know like you can um mix it up in a little spray bottle and use it as a cooling thing on your skin 
Um, it's great for focus, for studying. I quite often pop this in my diffuser at home when I'm working as part of a blend with other things. I feel like it really gets me going in the morning. I will very, um, just about every day, get the diffuser going when I first wake my son up and get this going for him so that it helps him get out of bed and, you know, feel like he's actually alive and ready to go to school, which does amazing things for him, trust me, because he can be really grouchy sometimes. Um, now, the next one I'm going to grab for you is Lovely Lavender, beautiful one here. And so this is one that you probably have heard of, even if you are quite new to essential oils. It is a mum's best friend, basically, is the way I can put this. Um, I like to joke with my friends that it is their child's sedative. <laughs> um, you know, it's um, actually a neuroprotector. It is great for um, supporting headaches. So, for example, you can rub it on your temples, um, around the back of your neck. Um, oh, it's just beautiful, honestly. Um, you can put it on your spine, again, like I was talking about earlier. Um, it is an adaptogenic herb, interestingly enough. Um, it helps, obviously, what people know it a lot for is, you know, supporting being calm, feeling um, relaxed, um, but it is very, very good for your skin. Um, it can be, it, we know that you see it added into skincare and skin creams and skin routines, you know, worldwide. Um, and there's a really good reason for that. You know, it's got anti-aging properties. Um, it's fantastic for skin issues. Like if you've got um, supporting, say, eczema or dermatitis, um, flaking scalp, for example, uh, cuts, scrapes. It's a really gentle oil, like I was talking about before. So you can put it straight on to things like that. Um, definitely one that is a must for if you are building a natural tox-free sort of first aid kit at home. Um, using at night time, obviously, like I was mentioning before, pop, it, pop a few drops in a diffuser or even just on, under the pillow, you know, on the pillow. Um, and, you know, it just is really beautiful. Floral um, is everything that you would think of if you were going to go and actually hold up some lavender um, in real life. It's just incredible. Um, so my lemon oil I'm going to grab here as my next one that I'm going to talk with you quickly about. Um, it is also another one that's really fantastic on your busy days. Um, I've been using this one a lot lately because life is very, very busy. Um, and, you know, uh, it's uh, emotionally, this oil is known as the oil of focus. So it actually helps me, I find, with just making sure that I've got, you know, some get up and go with my peppermint and then allowing me to focus in on what I have got to get done every day. Um, you know, from an emotional perspective, great if you are, say, studying or for helping your kids if they've got homework or support, um, um, calming for fears and insecurities as well. Um, like I mentioned before, I add this into my warm water um, with apple cider vinegar, for example, um, in the mornings. Um, and this is also a really crucial part of your um, no-tox home cleaning kit because um, the rumours about the power of lemon in your home cleaning are absolutely true. This is incredible what it can do for cleaning around your home. Um, you know... There's all sorts of different ways that you can use it um, and I'd love to do a few more kind of mini tutorials on how you can, you know, specifically use it around your home. But say, for example, adding it to um, bicarb soda, um, you know, and you can uh, pop it in a jar with maybe like a bit of a um, cheesecloth over the top and it's like an odour eater. Um, you know, excellent for cleaning with, um, fill, a, fill a spray bottle and with, say, some water um, and you can add in your lemon oil, um, tea tree oil as well, um, you know, and then you can squirt it all over your stove top, bench tops. Um, I've got a couple of different bottles made up of a few of these oils that are great for cleaning and we just use them all around, like the bathroom, the um, kitchen benches, all of those things. And, the, you know, it's just so beautiful knowing that you're using something that is a natural product 
Um, I just, yeah, can't say enough about it. Um, getting like sticky labels off stuff, this is incredible as well. Um, cleaning glass too, I've found is really amazing. Um, now, I mentioned tea tree just before. This is another one like lavender that people are probably most familiar with. Um, again, called Malaluca in some other parts of the world. Um, uh, beautiful, this one, I find. Um, I've used a lot of different tea tree oils in my life, and this one is just incredible. It's not too, um, sometimes they can be really, really sharp smelling, and this one's actually got a really pleasant smell to it. I don't know if you're very familiar with the scent of tea tree oil, but I find this one a really beautiful scented one. Um, a real all-rounder, um, very fragrant, um, obviously often associated with first aid. So this is a really good one to have in your natural kind of detox first aid kit at home. Um, good for all the things like bites, bumps, scratches, scrapes, um, you know, and just a really good um, like anti everything. So like antifungal, antibacterial, um, you know, uh, it can be used for all sorts of things. Um, uh, like, you know, treating bad breath. Um, you know, I just think from all my years when I was younger living in Southeast Asia, like putting on mozzie bites or, um, you know, bumps, bruises, things that you might get while you're, say, around the beach or, um, you know, if you're off on a big hike somewhere, like often we just used to carry tea tree oil around all the time. And again, a, a gentle one, so you can actually use it straight for most people. They will find that they're absolutely fine with using this straight onto their skin. Um, uh, you know, even just something like, um, I was talking to someone the other day that um, you can say, for example, use like one of those cloth band-aids and then just drip tea tree oil onto the top of it if you're wanting to treat like a graze or something like that but keep it covered um, because it will soak through the um uh sort of material band-aid it can soak through and just treat that while it's covered um now one that i'm going to show you now oregano that is probably one that you're wondering why the hell there is an essential oil from oregano, which I know I was a bit stumped when I first came across it. Um, but honestly, this, I wish you could smell this because it is just the most powerful, incredible smell. It's beautiful. Um, and I wasn't quite sure at first, but once I found out all about it, it actually is like this super oil. Um, you know, it is, um, we we're just saying about tea tree oil being really good for antibacterial, um, you know, antiseptic, things like that. Oregano is right up there. It's absolutely amazing that it can do all of those things and more. It is um, a fantastic supporter for your immune system, um, for your body. Um, you know, things like sinus trouble, flus, colds, um, you know, those bugs where you really just can't even get out of bed or eat anything, oregano is like the miracle cure for, um, you know, anything bacterial or whatever, oregano can really support that. Um, you know, even just like inhaling a steam, a bowl full of like hot water in the steam, and if you've got a few drops of oregano oil, it just one, does wonderful things for supporting our immune system. Um, and a really powerful decongestion as well if you're using it in that way with like the vapor. Um, and one that I have been um, showing you a couple of times is my lovely bottle of frankincense here. Now, I was kind of a bit not sure um, what this would be like because I had heard obviously the word frankincense a lot in my life, but I had never actually smelled it and honestly I don't even know what I would do without this oil now in my life I use it all day every day I don't know if you can see the level in this bottle but that just goes to show you how often I use this um, and it's actually a really um, it, it just is incredible I use it all over my skin um, I use it in my diffuser I will pop a few drops on my temples like it just is one that I use all day long and I absolutely love it and it's beautiful it's um, got a really beautiful scent to it it's quite unusual I find it's you know it's not something that 
I find I've smelt very often, you know, anything like this. It's not, it's sort of that more um, lower notes. It's not in the floral range, which I quite like because it's sort of something that's a bit mellower. It's not um, up there with your florals. I'll quite often use as a perfume um, geranium, which I absolutely love, but it's really nice to have something like this when you're not quite feeling um, like having something so um, floral smelling around. Um, so I kind of joke that this is the one that if you do get it, you will run out of it the most because I feel like that's me. <laughs> um, and it's got a really beautiful story about how it's made and where it comes from. Um, I mentioned earlier that it comes from either Saman or um, Oman or Somalia usually, and it actually comes from the sap of the tree. Um, and what they do, the farmers that um, grow the frankincense, they will... Um, harvest it from the tree by cutting the tree, you know, harvest the sap. And then what they actually do is they allow the sap to be cleansed by the moonlight before they will then return the next day to collect it for the oil. So isn't that beautiful? Like, I just think that's incredible that that's the story behind what arrives in this little bottle um, to me here in New Zealand. Um, and, you know, you might have heard of it as, the holy oil, obviously. Um, we all know um, stories of how many times it is referenced, say, in the Bible. Um, it is known as the oil of light and truth on an emotional level. It is um, used to be more valuable than gold. Um, and it just, uh, those are all sort of the emotional or, um, you know, social cultural meanings behind frankincense, but it also has really powerful um, immune support properties. Um, you know, this is one that there's been a lot of studies done on into how it can actually um, support inflammation, um, particularly the brain. Um, there's been a lot of research going into how this oil can support um, mental illness, um, obviously brain inflammation, um, memory improvement. Um, there's just heaps of scientific research going into it, which I think is amazing. Um, oh, my Instagram live has ended. I've obviously gone over my um, allocated hour of Instagramming. So I'm going to keep going on Facebook. So I'm really sorry, Instagram, um, but I'm now Facebook only. <laughs> for this last little part. I thought I was going to be able to get through it, but I wasn't watching the clock close enough. Um, I'm nearly done, I promise, for those of you who are still with me. I love you. Thank you. Um, and so, you know, what I also love particularly about being able to use these oils is the fact that doTERRA have this beautiful science team who will blend specific um, oils together for specific purposes and it's all with a scientific um, you know background to it so um, you know they uh, for example like talking about what I use on my own son he quite often has a stuffy nose block nose allergies um, and so I will use um, this lovely one here easy air which is like the support rescue system um, I dilute it, uh, dilute it, I diffuse it in his room um, with the diffuser quite often like at night when he's sitting on the computer gaming. Um, I'll just have it running so that when he goes to bed he's all, you know, breathing clearly. Um, another one that we've got here is On Guard, which is another one that you can possibly see that I use all the time. Um, this is a really good one that's been designed for all your um, like antibacterial and natural sanitizer, immune support. Um, and so, like, for, even for example, I do a lot of driving around in my car, and so I keep this on me in my handbag. And like, if I've had to go in and use like public toilets or something like that, I just use it to a drop in my hands, you know, as a sanitizer. Um, and I just love it. It's got a really beautiful um, sort of clovey smell to it as well. Um, the one I showed you before um, when I was talking about wintergreen is Ice Blue, and this is like your um, uh, sort of active support, so for um, sore joints, sore muscles, things like that. Um, use it a lot um, for the boys with surfing. You know, they get sore shoulders and tight around their shoulders, um, or they might just have sore muscles in general from having to 
scamper across rocks and you know do lots of swimming so this one comes out a lot as well and is used on high rotation in our house um, and the other one actually on that topic of uh, surfing um, is going back to the lemon oil uh, they will use that a lot if they get like reef cuts and things um, and I know traditionally surfers will if they get reef grazes or cuts they'll come in and they'll ask the lemons to squeeze on it but now we've got an essential oil we can just use that and it's even more potent and it does amazing things for their grazes and cuts that so they don't get infected so that's a little tip for anyone who's got surfers in their life um so yeah basically it's just that's been a way of being able to just sort of introduce you to some of my everyday oils um you know and just to really kind of talk to you um through the fact that you know i am a really big fan of trying to just promote that there are natural alternatives out there that you can use um i'm as I said at the start, I'm a huge fan of trying to get rid of as many of these environmental toxins from our lives as possible because I think it's really, really important. Um, and, you know, it, it's for me, it's, it's looking at it like it is a forever thing in our home and our lives. It's not just sort of a fad or a phase. This is something that is, you know, forever. And it's really beautiful that it is something that is sustainable in our lives. Um, uh, you know, um, really it's, it kind of comes down to, again, like a couple of my other videos talking about mindset and our mindset about things, you know, it's really looking at it, like shifting your mindset into investing in your health, you know, and your wellness and your well-being and your family's well-being, um, you know, not just continuing to still purchase the things that maybe you used to buy, like sprays and cleaners, it is investing in that um, natural alternative and using that forever you know it is making that complete shift and sometimes it does take that moment of just realizing oh yeah I don't need to go to the supermarket and just reach for that spray on the shelf anymore because I have got another alternative that I can use and you know it's something that I'm really passionate about continuing to work with um, you know people to just educate them around the fact that essential oils and those other holistic approaches to health and wellness and holistic well-being um, and you know the other beautiful thing that comes with you know working with say essential oils and the health coaching side of it is that I'm always there to support people about learning about these things and that's why I love my role as an educator for people um, you know that I can work with people to get them the right thing for their life and their situation and I believe that's you know that's something that I'm really um, strongly feel is important to not just do a one-size-fits-all approach I've talked about that a lot before um, you know and then also the fact that say using doTERRA means that um, the people who use these oils can then still continue to come back and learn and educate themselves and do amazing things for themselves and their own lives and their families' lives. Um, you know, I really believe that it's a beautiful holistic system, you know, that um, it's the future of business. It's the future of the way businesses run with a heart and a soul. You know, the fact that you can um, trace a product like this right from your doorstep all the way back to the place it is grown from and harvested and those conditions and that I just believe that's the future that's the way everyone is going to be going in in, in our world and it really needs to happen in more um, situations so you know I really hope that with this video that something you know has either landed or resonated for you in what I've kind of gone over it's been a lot of information trying to squeeze it into a short period of time um, you know and I just hope that you are feeling as kind of excited about it as I am you know I feel like when I'm using them you know it's just I'm always wanting to absorb more information and I love sharing that so you know if you want to know more about anything that I've touched on um, you know just feel free to ask questions in the comments DM me um, 
or you know you can add your comments to the video remember if you're watching the replay that you can hashtag replay add that in type that into your comment and then I can go back really easily and find it at a later time um, uh, another way that if you do want to, you can head over to my website. The link is on my page, rosetashery.com, um, and you can go to, in the menu, um, click on essential oils, and I've got more information there for you if you do want to jump over to the website and have a read. So, yeah, I think that that for now, my friends, we shall wrap that up. Um, thank you very much for being with me. If you are still here till the end, I really just celebrate you and thank you so much for your support and for being here and that I really hope um, you found this really interesting and informative and that's why I'm going to be bringing some more weekly kind of tutorials and just how-tos um, in much smaller bite-sized bite-sized chunks um, this one was a bit of a biggie to kind of cover quite a few bits of information and um, so keep an eye out for those weekly ones and thank you very much for being here I will be talking to you very soon so bye for now and I hope to talk to you in the very near future